welcome to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. The local time here is part past three in the afternoon. Please remain seated with your seat belts fastened until the fast seat belts are The motor spirit is back in Paris for Salon Retromobile. It's a winter classic car extravaganza. There are auctions from Bonhams and RM Sotheby's, the French auction house Art Curale, and the world's best classic car dealers. And I have a hundred grand, burning a hole in my pocket, curious as to what it will buy. R.M. Sotheby's has a big tent in Place Vauban, named after Napoleon's military planner, and within an eye shot of the Eiffel Tower, and next to the French military school. The R.M. Sotheby's partnership has been coming to Paris since 2014, and the condition of the cars is excellent, and there are a few around our budget like a 1959 Jaguar XK150 drophead coupe, and a 1953 Jaguar XK120 with cool competition-like double windscreens. There were plenty of Porsches. I could have started bidding on this 928 but it's being discovered as the next affordable Porsche. It's hard to believe this plain Jane 911 is over 200,000 euros, while this showy Aston Martin Vanquish is less than 150,000. We had the budget to bid on this 1990 Ayrton Senna helmet, but would have lost. Of the lot, the car I would like to have taken home was this 1966 Maserati Spider. What style? It would have been worth an advance on my 401k. Bonhams has been an auction house since 1793 and coming to Paris for Retromobile for eight years and is ensconced in the Grand Palais. The setting is spectacular. Built for the Universal Exposition of 1900, it's an Art Nouveau wonder and just the setting could be worth an extra thousand euros to the price. They had a few potentials within our budget. Another Jaguar XK120 a Saturday morning road-worthy Alfa Romeo Julia Spider, but my heart went for this 59 Lotus Elite, still a gorgeous car, against this Porsche 356 which swamps it in price, but the Elite is 60 years old and still looks great. But for a lasting impression, it is this 1939 Delahaye Sports Saloon, fit for the road, no grass queen, and it's in budget. The French auction house Art Curial is based in Paris, and its sale is at Retromobile. The cars are jammed together like a beach boulevard used car lot, and some cars could use a good detail. This 57 Jag is being sold according to the window sticker with beautiful patina. I guess that means a tattered top, rust, and peeling paint. The ultimate Porsche conundrum is this $4 million 57 550 next to an 06 Carrera with Le Mans race car performance for three quarters of a million. Go figure, neither of them sold. The 
The star car was this Alfa Romeo 8C Touring Berlinetta, one of five. Retromobile is about used cars, and in some cases very special ones. Europe's top dealers bring their best. For many, having an old car was eccentric. Now it's become an investment instrument. There are models of every variety, from old toys to those with exacting and lifelike details. There are parts, and parts, and more parts, and books, and motorsports inspired clothing. And there is an array of automotive art. Jay Kuka has been a renowned automotive artist for 30 years, who exhibits at Pebble Beach, and he's here at Retromobile. I will find uh, a background that intrigues me or interests me, and then I go and look for the car that best fits the background. And as an example of that, I can use the uh, Darwaza Gate painting. Darwaza Gate is the main entryway going into the Taj Mahal uh, grounds in uh, Agra, India. Now I have this setting and I need a vehicle to put into it. I mean, I may like a McLaren, but I think a McLaren lo would look ridiculous in front of the Darwaza Gate. However, the Star of India, which is perhaps the most famous Rolls Royce, if, if not the most famous Ro Rolls Royce, would be perfect. So why is Retromobile important? When it comes to cars, it's like this, seen in a dealer's space. And it is this. It remembers another time of romance and myth, skill and adventure, of childhood and adolescent dreams. <laughs> 